This next session, I got my first session on my new dwarf craft board. So this is the Slingshot Dwarf Craft. The board that I have been riding to date is this Nobile Infinity Split Foil. And I've done a review on this, but I haven't really focused on this board as a foil board. So today I'm gonna to talk to a little bit about what I liked and didn't like about this board, and then we're gonna get into the new board. So on the Nobile Split Foil, this is a great beginner board. It's a big surface area, as you can see, so it makes it really easy to get up and riding. But another one of the things that I like is it doesn't have a ton of volume, which means when you're in the water doing your water starts, this kind of sinks down into the water, which makes a strapless water start on a foil quite easy. I actually was able to mount with these foil mounts down here the slingshot foil so you don't have to use Nobile brand. Other things I like about it, the split functionality, super useful when traveling. It definitely helps this board pack into a check-in bag. And I really liked how thick and padded this particular deck pad was. It's also very concave here on the edges. So it helps your feet know exactly when you're coming up on the edges and it really helps you edge the board. So a lot of good things about this board. Some of the negative things, first is the weight. This thing is super sturdy, super burly, but if you have to take a long walk down the beach, this is not fun to carry, especially with a foil attached to it. Next con, the deck pad I liked. I liked how thick and I liked how padded it was, but I had two issues with it. One, it was a little bit slippery barefoot, so I had some issues with grip. And then two, the glue and the durability of the deck pad has kind of always been an issue. It's always peeling up. On this side, you can see it's ripping off and I've glued it back a bunch of different times and I just cannot get it to stick. So that's been a, a kind of a constant issue with this board, but otherwise a great beginner board, otherwise a great intermediate board, and certainly a good travel board that you can also use as a directional. Cool, so let's put this one aside and let's talk about the slingshot here. So let's get it so we can see it. So this is the Slingshot Dwarf Craft 110, so quite a bit smaller. Let's talk about the things that I like about it. First, the size. The size is way more fun. This is like moving from a jalopy to a Ferrari. With the smaller size, all of your movements on a foil are just that much more precise. And so yeah, way more fun to ride. Much easier to carve more sharp, left, right. And then it's way more sensitive on the pitch. So up and down, it really, really makes this board a lot more fun to ride. I love the shape. It's got these edges that really help recover when you hit the water when you turn. The nose is kind of lifted up, which helps when you hit the water and bounce. The corduroy deck pad, this is great. It's much stickier than that one is, so I don't have any grip issues. I feel a lot more confident on the board itself. And overall, this is just super fun. The weight of this board is so much lighter. So when you're riding, you're a lot more nimble, you're a lot faster from side to side. It's a lot touchier, so you can kind of lift up and down on the board a lot more quickly. And ultimately, if you're carrying this thing down the beach with the foil, it's so much lighter. So when I have to self-rescue and walk down the beach, I'd much prefer to have this board out there. I've never set up a track with a foil, so this type of system here that allows you to move the foil forward and back. So I'm just kind of picking uh, like maybe a middle setting and we'll give it a shot and see how it works. Let's get a little bit into the cons. The cons for this board, this actually has a little bit of volume. I think it's 14 liters. And the effect that has for someone riding strapless is it just floats a little bit higher in the water. So water starts sometimes are a little bit trickier than that board. Second con is actually the deck pad. It's really grippy, but it's not quite as thick and as padded as the Nobile board. Obviously that helps with the weight, but the first session that I had here on this board, I went out and rode for like three hours. And by the end of it, the bottoms of my feet were a little bit sore. I just wasn't used to standing on something so firm. That's probably a personal issue. I'll have to get used to it on my own. And then maybe the last small con is there's a bunch of scratches here from my harness from body dragging out. I had this same issue over here with the Nobile board. So I don't think this is unique to slingshot. It's frankly held up a little bit better so I didn't cut all the way through the surface, but I wish that this corduroy material were a little bit tougher and could handle some scraping against your harness because when you're body dragging, that's inevitably gonna happen. 
So yeah, there you have it. The move from the Nobile split foil to the Dwarfcraft 110. Absolutely love it, wouldn't go back. For those of you on larger size boards, it's super, super fun to switch to these smaller boards. Super, super fun session, really excited to get out on the water. Fun to push this board and see what it can do. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. <laughs>